Well, hello, y'all. I'm here to do another knife review. Uh, I do some on some higher-end knives, mid-range knives, and this guy right here is an affordable knife. Doesn't mean it's not a good knife. It's an affordable knife. This is, some of y'all know right away, a Rough Rider, as you can see by the logo here. This is one of their newer ones, and it is in what they call strawberry bone with a saw cut. And I think that's really nice. They did a good job. The only thing that's a little weird initially looking at it is, see how short that little bolster is right there? That's the way Rough Rider does it. This one's kind of normal, and they do a line through it, which is really nice. And uh, they do these really cool matchstick pulls, which is uh, pretty nice. Um, been a lot of discussion with Rough Rider knives, because they are made in China. But they're made in China by an American company. Smoky Mountain Knife Works owns them. And they seem to do... They, they're knife guys over there. And they seem to do a really good job of ensuring quality. You know, they pick out some good designs. And they make sure... They know what goes into making a good knife. So they make sure that the knives that you're getting are really good. And they stand behind them 100%. I will say, uh, I did have a... A stockman, sow belly stockman by Rough Rider. I made a video on here earlier where the back spring blew out. And it seemed to kind of explode. I was cleaning some barbecue sauce off in the sink. Didn't have all the blades open. Just, you know, opened them up one at a time. Uh, but the back spring blew out and hit me in the face. Didn't hurt me, but it was uh, pretty surprising. Uh, I, I did, they did, the very next day they had me a knife in the mail. And I got it like a day and a half later, two days later, something like that. So really appreciate them. Uh, did a lot of research, found out that could happen to any brand of knives, and it does. It does happen. But back to this knife. This is the Rough Rider uh, Trapper. I'm pretty sure most of y'all are familiar with the Trapper pattern. Uh, been around a long time. Uh, let's take a look at the outside of the knife first. So if we get in here close, look at the transitions and how smooth it is. They do a really good job with that pinch bolster. And see, there's no gaps. There's no uh, there's no rough spot. That, that is smooth as a baby's butt. Beautiful. Uh, the pins are all well rounded into the bone. This is ever so slightly proud. That's the pivot pin there. Um, but it is really well made. And... This knife set me back like 11 bucks. And that's the hard part to argue with. If you, uh, let me open it up here. I got to do it off camera. Open up the blade here. Uh, there's a couple little scratches because I, I use this knife. I use it a lot because it's good. Look at that tip. Got a good case. Doesn't always put the best tips on their knives, but this Rough Rider has got a really great tip. Uh, and then let me open it up here and show you the spade blade. Here you go. Uh, once again, those real pretty match pulls. And uh, they even put a nice little point on the spade blade. And the cool thing about a spade blade is you can open up, you know, things without uh, damaging, you know, the area around it. I, uh, I've worked on a ranch. Uh, we had a ranch when I was younger. My grandpa did and he died. But uh, I've seen these knives used to their intended purpose. Uh, cutting the testicles off of various uh, animals, you know, cattle and sheep and pigs and whatnot. Uh, anyway, getting back to Rough Rider, uh, they make this really great knife that's affordable, and people hate them because of that. They say, well, it's Chinese made. I don't want to buy a knife in China. Well, we're kind of past that. Uh, you know, you can buy American knives, but I tell you, I would put this knife up against a case knife any day of the week. The steel, uh, it's it's higher polished, and when you compare the cutting power, I'm not too scientific. There are some videos out there where they, they really did a head-to-head -head comparison, but this knife holds an edge about as long as case true sharp steel. Um, I don't know what it is. It's a Chinese steel. But, uh, once again, they do this thing, the heat treatment. The heat treatment is done correctly. And as important as the steel is the heat treatment. 
And so if you look at this knife, you're getting a really beautiful pocket knife. Um, I bought these Rough Riders. I bought several of them. And I bought them to use as junker knives. Or just knives I could beat up and have fun with. Because if something happened to it, I didn't care. Um, but I do. Because they're so well built. You uh, you really start to develop a, an affection for them. And you're, uh, you really like them. And even though it only costs you 11 bucks. Uh, it's still a quality knife. You can't argue with that. We'll look at the centering here. They Look at that. They did a good job. The uh, spade blade rubs just ever so slightly. It doesn't rub. It's just closer to that liner. But you get, you know, two individual springs, as is the trapper design uh, for your blades. And um, it doesn't catch. The, the, the spring pull is, here, I'll show you. It's strong. I'd say probably about a six maybe a seven and we'll get that here when we get you that snap snaps in there with authority and what that means for you is um the knife's not going to open up in your pocket yeah definitely not going to have to worry about that and it's going to stay open when you're using it uh i have used not this one but i used another rough rider trapper and uh you know we were we were cutting the bulls off of, turning bulls into steers and it worked out fine because uh, the guy I was with, he didn't want to, he didn't want to mess up his, his, uh, nice, uh, case knife that his wife had bought him. So he said, hey, can I borrow that knife? I said, yeah, I let him, I let him do it. And it, it did the job, uh, cleaned it up, stropped it up on our jeans, uh, to keep it sharp. And it, it got the job done, did several, uh, several, uh, bulls and did a really wonderful job. Uh, it's also a good barbecue knife, and it's also a good Amazon box opening knife and everything else you can think of. So, if you're on the fence about these Rough Riders, I would say give them a try. Uh, you know, they go they go up a little bit. Depends where you get them. Uh, you get them from Smoky Mountain Knife Works themselves. Like, like I said, they, uh, they bring in new models, and as they get rid of the old ones, they sell them just dirt cheap. I've seen them go down as low as $7 and something cents. And, uh, I mean, you, 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 it's like they just gave it to you. You can't get a knife this good for, for so cheap. Um, the fact that it's made in China, yeah, that's, that's one thing, but, uh, you're getting a quality knife and that should make American makers sit up and take notice that you can get a knife of this quality that looks this good, that performs this good at such an amazing cost. Well, People aren't as shy as China-made products no more. They're going to buy it. And, you know, they're going to be out there and people are going to use them. And, and if you're an American maker, you should you should consider that. I'm not saying make your stuff in China, but, you know, step it up. If you're going to ask prices, you, you better step it up a little bit. Look at that. Look at, the, look at the jigging in that bone. And look at the dye job. Little things like that. They... Uh, Man, they just do a wonderful job. Look at the transition between the bone and the bolster. It is smooth. It's look even down here. It is very well done. Um, you know the thing is, uh, the knife hobby is enjoyable, and a lot of people buy knives and they only post them on Instagram and do stuff like that. With uh, the thing about it is, what's fun about these knives is you can actually use them. And by using them, I mean for everything. You know, like you take a knife out of your pocket and you carve up an apple, you cut up some barbecue, you cut open boxes, you just do whatever you want with it. And, you know, because it's inexpensive, you're not as afraid to use it. But because it's such a well-built not built knife, you start to really appreciate it. And, uh, and it kind of changes your mind about uh, knives made overseas. Especially Chinese knives. Now you got to get a knife from a good company. I have. Uh, I recently got turned on to a brand called Rosecraft, and uh, that is a brand that's really making headway. They are like this knife, but a step up. You know, and they use some better steels. They use D2 steels. They got some, uh, you know, little fancier designs, and they're even uh, more. They pay even more attention to the fit and finish of their knives. And, um, you know, so you're getting this amazing quality at a really fair price. It's, uh, 
it's really just hard to say no to, especially if you're a true knife lover and a knife user. Anyway, that's my take on the Rough Rider uh, Trapper and Strawberry Bone Saw Cut. Uh, I think it's Saw Cut or Barn Board. I can't know. I can't remember. But uh, anyway, it looks good to me. The only thing I would change is I don't like that Chevrolet shield. Not that I don't like Chevrolet, but I uh, I like acorn shields or round shields. I think that uh, Chevrolet shield looks a little weird, but that's what they're doing now. And uh, they it'll probably change here. You know, they are, they're always changing up the designs. And like they changed up Rough Rider, they spell it different. Uh, now it's uh, Rough and then Rider, R-Y-D-E-R, -E and it used to be R-I-D-E-R. And I don't know why they changed that. I'm sure they had their reasons. But uh, either way, you're getting a great knife. I appreciate y'all stopping by. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, I guess I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you like the stuff I'm putting out. I, uh, I basically just put out videos where I sit down and talk. Like, you know, I'm talking to a friend. Uh, and, you know, talking about knives. Uh, don't have any fancy intros. You can see that I am not the uh, Pulitzer Prize winning cameraman, but, you know, I'm just uh, talking about knives to people that like knives. And I like all kinds of knives, uh, expensive and uh, affordable and everything in between. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and we will catch you down the road.